YouTubians. Today on the episode of Girl vs. Food, I am going to be tackling Betty Crocker's Hamburger Helper Mexican Crunchy Taco. We will take you step by step as we make it and as we eat it. So, let's get cooking! This is a very simple dish to make because all you need is ground beef, one cup of milk, and two and a fourth cup of hot water. So, let's show you the process. When you open the box, you will find topping, corn chips, sauce pack, and some rice. Now cook your meat thoroughly. The meat smells delicious, doesn't it, Dad? Absolutely. I prefer draining the meat of all fat before continuing on to the next step. Stir in one cup of milk and hot water and sauce mix and uncooked rice. Heat till boiling. Stir occasionally. Now we have put in the water, the milk, the uncooked rice, and we are now going to put in the sauce mix into the ground beef, which is already browned. My dad is cutting open the package to put into the meat. He will be helping me with this. Now we have to stir occasionally. So let's stir it. Stir it all together like so. It smells great, doesn't it? We've brought it up to a boil. Reduce heat and cover for 20 minutes, stirring occasionally until rice is tender. In a measuring cup, measure out one third cup of milk. Get a bowl. And now open the topping mix and get a spoon and pour the topping mix into a bowl while pouring in the milk. Mix well and set aside for later. It smells delicious. It doesn't smell... It kind of smells like, like a taco, doesn't it? It should look kind of like cheese, liquid cheese. This is what it should look like so far. Now, once it's all done cooking, put in the corn chips, take it off the heat, and put in the cheese. Spread them around. Now put on the cheese. This is my first forkful, and it is hot. It's like physically hot. And um, so I'm going to take a bite now and hope I don't burn myself. Very good. The the corn chips and the cheese give it kind of a nacho taste and the beef and the rice 
is like the stuff you get in the burrito with the seasoning and everything. It's quite good. So, I would recommend this. I give it um out of five thumbs up. I would give it a five thumbs up because it is very good and it's very easy to make. So, I hope you try it. You got food you want me to review? Let me know down below.